wish you could. We could. The master is making this concoction. You know we haven't even what are you eating, Christian? used one bar yet. You know we haven't even used one bar yet. It's not how internet works. All right, right now we are at Kinzu Bridge State Park in Pennsylvania. This Kinzu Bridge was constructed, I don't remember the date exactly, um, but it was transportation to get from one hill to another hill that you can see over on the side. Kinzu Bridge is consisted of 20 columns. Over there you can see the damage from the tornado that hit in 2003. It took out half of the bridge and so now they have made it into a place where you can walk across. There's a glass bottom up there which is really interesting. Maybe I'll walk over there. The fall foliage is spectacular. There are trails down below that we will walk later, but the bridge is 220 feet high. It was constructed in 94 days. This is truly a must see. The skywalk is named one of the world's or nations, I don't recall, the top three skywalks. I think the other way is better because you know. You see that joint? There is a better view of the remaining parts of the bridge from the tornado in 2003. And there's Kenzie River below. As the trains traveled across this bridge, or they call it a, oh, what was it called? It wasn't a bridge. It was something ducked. I mm, can't remember what it's called. Um, the trains could only go five miles an hour as they were spanning across here. The goods that were taken was coal, lumber, and oil. We are at the bottom of the Kinzu Bridge right now, walking down to the Kinzu Creek. Say hi! Okay, so we decided to take this short hike down and see the Kinzu River. And we thought it was really interesting, when you stand right here, you can see the gorgeous river, and then the remains of the viaduct that the tornado took down. And then up there is what is still left standing, which is what we were on top of earlier. So it's crazy, we're now 225 feet below it. Okay, so interestingly enough, before the bridge got destroyed by a tornado, this entire area over here was a lush, thick forest that mostly provided to deer and black bears. But after the tornado came through, all these little shrubs popped up, now providing an ideal habitat for little field mice, rabbits, just all sorts of different kinds of small mammals, which is quite interesting. Our hike back up from the Kenzu River is pretty much straight up. This is a flat part. You can probably hear I'm a little winded. There's Charlotte. She wants me to come get her, but she's okay. Look at her taking a deep breath and here she goes. This little girl can hold her own on hikes. Okay, this is more like our hike on the way up. It is pretty much straight up. Right now I have Charlotte on my shoulders. Sorry, it's a little shaky. And this is our walk back up. How you doing, boys? Good. <laughs> All right, here we are. There goes Grayson and Sawyer. Charlotte, how are you doing? Thumbs up? Meow. Oh, meow. And meow. this is where we came from. How are you doing, Charlotte? Thumbs up. Okay, we are at the very top of our walk.
Machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa leaves in. This is where the chocolate all comes together. Thanks, After Mr. Cooks, it begins to These punching machines use three granite rollers. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grayson. Happy birthday to you. video of what they call Devil's Den. This was a place for both Confederate and Union soldiers to hide behind, um, especially the sharpshooters of the Confederate Army. It is called Devil's Den with all these huge boulders on top of each other, or they call them craggy rocks, because during the time they found a snake that was said to be 8 feet to 15 feet in length within this area living in these rocks. And the most famous snake at the time was Satan himself. So they called this Devil's Den. That is how it got its name. Behind us is the forest that Confederate soldiers used as shelter to attack the Union Army. That was, I don't know if you can see it, way over there, little round top. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm going to tell you three facts about what I liked on in Pennsylvania. The first one is that we went to the playground every morning before we started school. And I like Kenzo Bridge because we got to go on it and half of it was destroyed by a tornado. And um, I like Hershey's Chocolate World because I got to make my own candy bar and we got to do a chocolate tour. What about skipping rocks in the creek? Did you? And we got to skip rocks in the creek right by our RV, and and I swam in it once. Hey, I'm Christian, and here are some highlights from Austin Campground. I really enjoyed the creek in the back, where I got to um, sharpen my uh, rock skipping skills and to catch some crawfish as well. I also went uh, neck deep and submerged myself completely a couple times, which was really fun. Um, the only downside was that there was no sewage, but it was really nice to be away from civilization and not have electronics everywhere. Um, we did get to watch a couple movies at, on DVD though, which was fun. And um, just about the Gettysburg area, my favorite part was um, the Hershey's tour and how for the first time I got to try the Hershey's bar with the Reese's Pieces inside of it. It was literally the best candy bar I've ever had. Hi, I'm Grace, Chief Editor and Social Media Manager and the most humble Kirby. Stop it. Get some help. Some of my highlights from Pennsylvania were all the wildlife that we saw. We believe we saw a fisher cat, which was really cool. Me and Piper did get to see some elk and my mom didn't. Um, we got, we saw two bulls and we got to hear them do their bugling and they had like huge racks. It was so neat. We saw them from a distance, but it was still really cool. And we also, when we were at Kinzu Bridge, discovered that we had heard a porcupine in the forest the night before. And we also heard a fisher cat, we think, do its call, which is, which was really creepy. And yeah, that was my favorite thing. Those are my fa highlights from Pennsylvania. What about the stars? Those are my highlights from Pennsylvania. 